Hi, this is Paul on the road, and I'm Paul. So today I'm going to talk about water and how I use it in the rig. And it may seem very obvious, but I do it a little differently than, than I guess most RVers do, or at least the ones I've spoken with. What I do is I fill my fresh tank and run off the tank. I don't run off of the city water supply. Uh, and the reason I do that is uh, well, for a couple of reasons. I uh, find the water pressure is more consistent with the, with the pump and I keep my fresh tank fresh by doing that because I'm constantly circulating water through the tank. And today I just got a, a new little device that uh, tells me how much water I'm putting in because I've noticed that I seem to go through my tank pretty quickly and, it, and this rig I think I'm got I think I've got a 98 gallon tank freshwater tank on it and I can really only go about three or four days before I'm empty so I'm curious how much water I'm actually getting in the tank so I'll show you this uh, device that I hooked up and it's going to tell me exactly how much water I'm putting in so here it is and I started it, oh, I don't know, about seven or eight minutes ago, and I'm at 29 gallons right now. And uh, I'm sure it's got a ways to go because the tank was pretty empty. I would say I had a couple, three, four gallons that it left in it based on uh, how it was sounding, how the pump was sounding. I can always tell when it's getting low because the pump runs longer um, to to uh, charge the lines even after I uh, turn the faucet off. And like I said, uh, it you know, by doing it the way uh, I do it, um, I just think that the tank, the fresh tank has got to stay fresher, cleaner by doing it this way. So uh, at least that's my theory. I'm running water through it at least. Uh, you know, it's like if you're constantly using a bucket and you're constantly dumping it out and adding more water, the bucket's pretty, is gonna be pretty clean most of the time. There will be some sedi sediment in the bottom. And once in a while, every few months, I will, when it, when it gets real low, I'll, I'll pull the, uh, the main, uh, what's it called? The, the main gate valve and dump whatever is left in the tank and then, and then turn the water on and let the water run through a little bit. Um, and it always, you know, I never see anything coming out that that uh, frightens me I don't see any 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 rust or dirt coming out of the gate valve so so uh, I think it's working oh and here's a pro tip for you um, one of the things I do is when I start the water flow when I start filling my tank I use my the timer on my phone and I'll set it for well when it's empty like it is today or like it was today I set it for 20 minutes uh, and that way I don't forget because, you know, I, I have done this before in the past where I, I start it and then I get doing some other project and I completely forget that I'm filling my tank and before I realize it, I've got water running out of the overflow on the tank. Nine. Still nothing coming out of the overflow. So this is uh, making me feel good and bad. Good that the tank is holding is m more water than I thought it would and bad that apparently I am horrible at water conservation. Okay, we've got water coming out of the overflow and we're at 70. Now let me get it closed first and then we'll look at it. 72 gallons. So, I don't know, if I had Let's say I had five gallons in the tank, and I don't think I even had that much um, when I started this, and it's a 95 gallon tank, then, yeah, it's, it's uh, I'm, I'm certainly not getting anywhere close to 90 gallons in this thing. Oh, and if you want one of these little things, um, I'm gonna put the link in the description. 
Um, I got it on Amazon. I don't remember what I paid for it, but it, it was it was relatively inexpensive. Um, and it's a neat little thing to have, I think. Thank you for staying to the end of the video. And I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank all of you for the kind comments you've been leaving. Many of you have been saying that I'm, I'm looking happier, I'm looking different, and uh, I am certainly feeling that way, and I'm happy to hear that it's coming through on video. So again, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.